Hello, I'm Dr. Louis Scalfani, and I'm a licensed chiropractic physician. I'm also the health director for Medical Products Online. Please remember to talk to your medical doctor before trying any of these products. Today, we're going to discuss a combination unit that has four different therapies. There are four TENS modes, there are four interferential modes, three microcurrent modes, and three EMS modes. The unit is the Intensity Select Combo. You'll notice that your unit comes with everything that you need to get started. The electrodes, there are four in here, the instruction manual, the device itself, a 9 volt battery, an AC adapter, and lead wires. To turn your unit on, there's a power button in the middle. You'll press that, you'll hear an audible beep. You'll notice that you can scroll through the different modes with the M key. We are now in the TENS mode and we can see that we can scroll through the different modes by pressing the S button and then up arrow to get us through the burst mode. In burst mode there are short bursts of electrical impulse followed by no impulse. Then we can scroll with the up arrow to normal which is just continuous stimulation. We can scroll one more time to the M mode in which the pulse width will change throughout each treatment cycle. And then the M1, when we scroll up one more time, where the pulse rate will then change with each treatment cycle. If we press the M two more times, we can now go to the interferential. You'll see that the cursor moves over to IF at the top bar and then we'll press S and then up arrow again and this will get us to the P1 mode. We press S again, P2 mode, P3 mode, and P4 mode. Once again what happens in these different modes is that the pulse width and rate will change uh, via a program to create different sweeps in the interferential uh, modes. If we press the mode button two more times, we now have scrolled over to the microcurrent settings. If we press the S, we can scroll up through the P1 mode, P2 mode, P3 mode. Once again, uh, settings between pulse width and pulse rate will vary in these modes we press mode two more times, we are now in the EMS mode and we have uh, the synchronous mode in which the both channels will turn on and off at the same time. If we press the S, we can now scroll up to the alternating mode in which one channel will turn on and the other is off and then they will alternate or the opposite effect. Um, that might be useful in conditions where we're trying to exercise, for instance, the extensor muscles and the flexor muscles of the forearm. So we would have one channel on the back of the forearm, the other channel on the front of the forearm. Or if we're on the back muscles where we might want one side to contract while the other relaxes and then alternate um, for that. If we press the up arrow one more time, we are now in what's known as delay mode. In the delay mode, the different channels will turn on at a different timed uh, delay. Again, you would discuss this treatment with your doctor or therapist. So right now, we're going to scroll over to the TENS mode. And so we're going to press the M, get into TENS, press the S again, and now we will up scroll to the normal mode. What we're going to do is change some parameters. And how we would do that is once we are in the normal mode, we'll see the normal flash. We'll press the S and we'll see that the clock is flashing. So now we will up arrow or down arrow to select our treatment time. Oftentimes 30 minutes is a reasonable time. If you press S again, you'll notice that the pulse width or PW is flashing and now we are able to change that 
with up and down arrow. If we press the S one more time, now the pulse rate is flashing PR, and we can up and down arrow throughout that mode. If we press the S again, we are now ready to simply increase the intensity. You'll have to increase and set intensity on each of the channels. Once we are done, you'll see a little lock will come across and that will prevent us from changing uh, the different parameter settings. Right now what we're going to do is actually do a treatment in EMS. So what we'll do is we will bring the intensity down because remember we were in uh, tens and now we will press the M and we're going to scroll over using the top bar and you'll see that we can get into EMS. EMS is highlighted and now what we're going to do is synchronous mode. So synchronous, we're going to press the S, we're going to up scroll till we get to S, and then we're going to change some parameters. So if we press the S one more time, treatment time comes up, we're going to up scroll to 30 minutes. Pressing S again, the pulse width once again, you're going to discuss these parameters with your, your health professional. And for, I'm going to do a forearm treatment. So I'm going to set my pulse width at 150. Up scroll to that. Press the S again, my pulse rate. Um, right now, I'm going to want my muscles to contract uh, and, and in a ra rather rapid fashion. So I'm going to up scroll to a setting of 60 hertz staying on that. Press the S one more time and there's something called ramp that is now flashing. The ramp is how long it takes for the unit to go from zero intensity up to the treatment intensity. Usually five seconds is reasonable. Pressing the S again and the CON is now flashing. That is the contraction time. So once the ramp has come up to the intensity you want you can tell it how long to contract the muscle. Um, we're going to set that at about 20 seconds. That's reasonable. And the relaxation time, if we press the S one more time, the REL is now flashing. And so we are going to do a relax mode of about five seconds. And if we press the S one more time, we are now ready for stimulation. We're going to do this only on one channel. So We'll connect the lead wire to the unit, the electrodes being connected to the other side of the lead wire. Remember not to pull the electrode off with the wire. We're going to place the electrode. You have to know where your placement points would be when it comes to muscle stem, usually to either side of the muscle. There are charts available for that, and again, ask your health professional. So. Now I'm going to increase the intensity with the up arrow until I begin to feel some stimulation. So remember, there's something called ramp time. As you're increasing stimulation, the ramp time does not occur until we stop and press the S one more time. And now we are ready for the treatment. The treatment will last for 30 minutes. And right now we'll have about 20 seconds of contraction then you're going to feel the stimulation stop and then in about five seconds you're going to feel the ramp it's going to start to ramp up it's going to take five seconds and then it's going to get to the treatment stimulation and then we would just wait throughout this cycle for 30 minutes and we're done once you are finished remember to dial down your intensity when the intensity is all the way down we're able to shut the unit off by holding the button for about three seconds. The unit goes off, and then you're going to put your unit away carefully, and it should last for a very long time. Please remember once again to discuss the use of these devices with your doctor before trying them. We want to thank you again for joining us at Medical Products Online. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us at our customer service email or telephone number, and have a great day. Thank you.